Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Friday Favorites and Flops. I know I have not done one of these in a really long time. I have several products for you and I even have a flop this week, so stay tuned for that. It's actually been a product I've been trying out a lot and I couldn't decide if I liked it or not. And then I was like, you know what? I just don't think I that this is doing anything. So that's what my flop is. Um, so I have some health stuff, some like some tie-dye stuff and some beauty stuff so it's a mixture of all in my Friday favorites this week so I'm gonna start out let's just start out with the tie-dye so I have been obsessed with tie-dyeing things like if you have anything white do not get it near me because I will tie-dye it so I tie-dyed this this is like a Hanes men's t-shirt it's in a medium and then I just kind of I didn't really crop it but I cut it shorter it's the one with it has like a little pocket on the side down here I had like this little mustard or ketchup container and I mean it never had ketchup in it it was just like one of these little squirt bottles so I just used this what you do is I used Rit dye and I think for this particular shirt I used the royal blue and I think I used the aquamarine like I went in with both of these too you take your shirt you get it wet and then you you like rinse all the water out and then I scrunched it up and then just like bunched it in random spots put the rubber bands around it then you fill up your water bottle with a little bit of the dye and you can test out what colors you like um, I really like these Rit dyes because you don't have to use very much they work on cotton wool nylon and more so I, I feel like they adhere to the clothing I've seen a lot of people use those kits these are only two dollars and 98 cents you can find them at your grocery store Walmart um, online on Amazon um, and then you take it you fill it a little bit with the dye and then all the way up with hot hot water like as hot as you can stand and then I put a few drops of Dawn dish detergent in there. Don't ask me what it does, but everywhere I look, it says to add it, so I added it. Then you shake it up, and boom, you go. Squirt it all over, and make sure your shirt is saturated, like all the white you can see is saturated, because what is stuffed in, there's plenty of white in there. And like even some of the white spots that you'll like see here, there are they sort of turn like a lightish blue or whatever color you're working with once you wash it. So then you let it sit for eight hours. I just tie it up in like a grocery sack, let it sit for eight to 24 hours, and then I rinse it until the water runs clear, and then I wash it and dry it. And so many things. I did this sweatshirt. This is just like a Hanes men's sweatshirt. Um, you can crop it or just leave it long. Uh, I did this one. I had a little bit of rose quartz that I did teal um, and a little bit of like the aquamarine one. So I kind of just mixed a few colors in with this, make sure it was saturated and I like the way it turned out. And like I said, when you wash it, the white, it sort of bleeds some of the color in bleeds and like makes it overall so it doesn't stay like completely white if you want it to stay completely white I would leave it for 24 hours before you pull it out and then do the rinsing part and then wash and dry that might be your best shot I left mine in for about eight hours so I'm thinking if you leave it in overnight you're gonna have more white spots with like less chance of the bleeding when you're washing so anyways get yourself some white clothing and some writ dye and if you guys want me to do like a full tutorial on it i will but there's so much out there that's how i found out i just like looked on um youtube and watched a bunch of people but i've been using the writ dye having fun dyeing my clothes because i realized that these sweatshirts and stuff were like a hundred and something dollars on like all the popular websites and I'm like, that is so dumb to me to spend that much money on tie-dye. So anyways, if you have spent that much money on tie-dye, I'm sorry. I've made a lot of dumb purchases too, but to me, I'm just like, no. Um, anyways, okay, so the next thing I want to talk about is from Bellway. Now, Bellway has this, it's fiber, basically a fiber supplement. So you guys know I've been on a health journey. So I, throughout my health journey, sometimes like with the foods that you're eating, you need to make sure you're regular, if you know what I'm saying. It helps just your gut health. So taking a fiber supplement is something that I incorporate into my diet. 
Now this one is plant-based, it's gluten-free, um, and it dissolves quickly into, you can just dissolve it into water. But the way that I like to use this is I like to dissolve it into my smoothies. I am like someone who just can't, no matter what type of fiber product it is, something about like mixing it with water, like it just doesn't, I just can't ever do that. So with this, I just went ahead and mixed it into my smoothies. So it helps you to have, you know, smooth moves. Um, it helps you with your, your gut health to have less bloating. And overall, like I said, I just like to make sure I'm maintaining my gut health. So uh, yeah, you just put a rounded teaspoon. So you start out with a teaspoon, like you do not want to do that much, but you just, it's just like a, a fiber product powder fiber so you just do a teaspoon and I just dump it right in with my smoothies or if you just want to get it down in some water you can do that they have different flavors this one is mixed berry but they also have lemon lime and raspberry lemons so, but you do have several different options especially if you're going to just drink, be drinking it mixed with water so been loving this recently and thank you so much to Bellway for sponsoring this video they did send me this to try and I was impressed because I noticed right away that things were moving and you have to sort of keep up with it so it is a daily fiber supplement so anyways been loving that and now on to makeup I cannot put this Charlotte Tilbury blush down I know that the VIB sale from Sephora is going on right now this blush has just been from Charlotte Tilbury I love it it's a love glow I've had this for five years it it's still great it's one of my favorite blushes ever I use this all the time. How I have not hit pan on it, I do not know because every time I travel, I take this one and Ecstasy. Those are like my two most used blushes. I just feel like they give that beautiful glow to the, your face. They're not too shimmery. They just have a sheen. So you can use, it has like two parts to it. Can you see a lighter center and then a darker ring? So you can use one color, the darker ring, or you can use the lighter center or you can mix them all together. So essentially you're getting three blushes, which I'm telling you, and then mixed all together. So as you can see, it's just a really pretty subtle, like I would say the outer ring is like more of a peachy color. The middle ring is like a light, light pinky peach. And then all together, it's just this like beautiful, like glowy, but like I said, like not too glowy. Like you, you're not getting like too much glow. You're just getting just enough glow on the face. Like, let me just mix it together. What, it, what, it, what it like looks like on the cheek. It's just this really pretty sheen that it gives your face. And I just think it's a perfect everyday color because it's not too pink. It's not too peach. It's just, it's right there where you want to be when you're using a blush. So it's my favorite. And if I had to get rid of all of my blushes in the whole world, I would keep my Charlotte Tilbury blushes, specifically this one and Ecstasy. So if you are looking to purchase anything during the VIB sale, I highly recommend that. Um, so I've been going back to using this It Cosmetics CC cream. Now, I've loved this for years and years and years, but let me tell you why I've been loving it recently. Because when we're in quarantine, I don't want to wear too much makeup. But I do want to, like, I, I do wear makeup and, like, want to have my skin evened out and also want to have sunscreen on because I am going on walks and outside a lot. So, I mean, I am seeing my family and I have some neighbors that are occasionally outside. Obviously we have some distance between us because we're very good at social distancing over here. But you know, sometimes I just like to have a little bit to even out my face. You feel me? Okay. You can't go every day with no makeup, even though I've gone several days with none, but I really like this. If I'm going to wear something, it has really, really great coverage. It is like, it's a full coverage. I love the pump. It has SPF 50 in it. So when I go out for my walks, I really, really feel like I'm getting that sunscreen, the SPF 50. It's just such a great product and I've just loved it for years. And I pulled it back out because I was like, I need a little bit of coverage. You can go light with it or you can build it up. So that's just what I like. It feels almost like you're putting a lotion on your face and it just doesn't break me out. It just does really well with my skin. So I love that product. The only problem is they just don't have that many colors. I wear the shade light, but I could do a little bit darker than light right now. 
but they just don't have an expanded range. They need to get an expanded range for all different skin tones. They don't really have a developed range for darker complexion. So if you have a deeper dark complexion, they don't have a lot of variety. Um, but it's, it's a very good product, so I really hope that they expand the variety. Okay, for a cleanser, I love this so much. I've talked about it on Instagram. This is the Hydrating Milky Cleanser from Pixi. This has coconut and probiotics. It's a really nice foaming cream cleanser. I love it. You just need a little bit. It smells really good. It gets all your makeup off. It makes your skin feel hydrated even after using it. So I really have been loving this. You can find this at Target. Also, shout out to... Um, impress nails. I don't love impress nails because they have like that sticky tacky stuff that comes on the back, but I found if I add my own glue to them, then they will stay on longer. So, you know, I don't get my nails done at the salon or the nail place anyways, but for those of you who are suffering during this quarantine and like not able to get your nails done, impress nails from the grocery store, great option. Okay, for my eyebrows, I've been using this CoverGirl eyebrow product. This is in Honey Brown. I love these. If you're looking for a really great affordable eyebrow product, this is where it's at. It gives a nice, good structure to your eyes because it's very small point. This is up there with some high-end products. And it has a really nice spoolie on the other end. So I don't know what more you could want. Honestly, this one from CoverGirl should be like if you're if you really like the ones from um, Benefit, that's very in line with the the my brow, precisely my brow. That's very in line with it. Uh, from Iconic London, this is the very first product that I've tried from Iconic London. I got this in my Boxy Charm box. It's their Illuminator. This is the original. You guys, I am in love with this product. Just a liquid illuminator. I've been using it. You can add it to your foundation or you can use it as a highlight. It has a little dropper. Look at how beautiful this is. Like, what? It's almost like an oil. I can't describe the texture. It's like not sticky. It like almost like dries immediately and it just gives such a beautiful glow. Like I said, you could add this to your foundations if you want a little bit of luminosity to them or you can just use it and like I said, I just put it on my hand, dab in a beauty blender and boom, there you go. So really nice product. First time I ever tried the Iconic London drops and um, or anything from Iconic London and this illuminator is like, I'm so impressed. I love it so much. I don't know why I slept on that product. And last but not least, I've been using this mascara a ton. I talked about it the last time, but like this Essence Princess, this is not my favorite one. My favorite one is the green one, but that is sold out every time I went into Ulta prior to when you could go into Ulta. But n now online I haven't looked because I had this one and this is just the volume mascara. So the Lash Princess volume mascara. And you guys, I just love it. It has a curved wand, a natural bristle brush, and it just separates your lashes. I seriously cannot get enough of this. I've been using the Rodan and Fields Lash Boost, so my lashes have gotten really, really long, and this just makes them, like separates them, puts enough mascara, lengthens them, so I've been loving that. So this is the from All May. I've talked about these before. It's the Wipe It Never Happened. These are eye makeup remover pads you get in the big one, 120 pads. I believe this was $6, but I had a coupon for $3 off. And uh, so I was like, yes, I'm gonna be getting the big one. Um, but they're, they're tiny little saturated pads. And what I do is like when I'm just like watching TV in my bed, like before I go wash my face and all that, I just take my eye makeup off with these. I lay them on top of my eyes, just let them sort of saturate in and they take your eye makeup off right away and it is my favorite like I cannot go without them because it just kind of gets it off and then when I go in and wash my face I don't feel like I'm scrubbing my eyes to get off all my mascara because I already have that makeup like taken off so I can really concentrate on my skincare from there on out because a lot of my washing my face sometimes turns into trying to get my mascara off and I want my eye makeup to just be off and then concentrate on my skincare if that makes sense. So um, I've been loving those forever and I highly recommend them. 
Um, this is my flop. This is the L'Oreal Lviv 8 Second Wonder Water Hair, Hair Transforming Rinse Out. So it says it gives you shinier hair, no silicone, no weight down. So here's the deal. I tried this on my hair and you have to blow dry your hair afterwards and it says that it makes it silkier and it sort of did but not like a crazy amount where I was like, okay. And so then I was like, okay, well I heard that you have to just keep trying it and you have to use quite a bit for each time. So this is how much of the bottle you have to use each time so that you do it. And if you have longer hair or thicker hair, sometimes you have to use more. So you're not getting a whole lot of treatments out of this. And then, so mine is down to one last treatment right here. So then I used it on my daughter's hair who she has thick red or like auburn curly long hair. And um, just to see like would it help her frizz, would it make her, her hair or her curls shinier, and no. It didn't do very much at all. So, and I had to use a ton. Like I basically wasted, like I did two treatments on myself and then I went all the way down here doing a treatment on her. So, I just have to say that I just didn't notice anything and for the amount of times that you can actually use it on your hair to really feel like you're getting it into your hair, it's it's just a no from me. So anyways, I, I did talk about it on my Instagram and I thought I might like it and I was like, oh, okay, alright, my hair feels a little bit shinier and a little bit like, but I think it was like I really wanted to feel like it was doing something and it, I just don't think it did. So anyways, that's my review on that. And thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you, Bellway, for sponsoring this video. Definitely check out the fiber if you are looking to incorporate some fiber for your gut health into your diet. And I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.